My first exposure to being a builder would be as a little boy with a very simple socket set. And the next thing you know, it's skateboards and bicycles. All the kids in the neighborhood were at my house. I mean, that's when it started, really. I enjoy all of it. I mean, I love building engines. I love fabricating chassis and frames, whatever. But for me, it's, it's everything. I try to touch everything. My name is Tommy Osborne, and I'm a builder. My first paying job that I can remember was in Tucson, Arizona, and I, I swept the floor and mopped the floor at a transmission shop. The man that owned the transmission shop, his name was Bob Perry. At that time, Bob Perry had these quarter-mile wheel standers, and one of them that was very popular at that time was a, it was called Hell on Wheels. And it was a tank that was a dragster underneath. It was incredible. I didn't realize it when I got the job there, but, but after working there, you know, this kind of set me in, in my path. I stumbled into Dragmasters, and this would have been about 1987. Just walking through the doors down there for the first time, I could tell I was, for lack of a better word, I was home in that place. My very first job at Dragmaster was beautiful. It was a 62 Chevy. The people were building this car as a restoration. They really wanted somebody to take their time and make things real proper. And they put me on that car from top to bottom. Mechanicing was a lot of fun, but my, my interests really started into the, the machining end of it. Watching the Boeing bar work and watching the mills go and that. And so they let me transition back into the machine shop. It was fun and I enjoyed it and I took pride in what I was doing back there. It was 1990. I, I remember it just like it was yesterday. I went up in Dode's area and I said, hey Dode, we should build another dragster. And he kind of looked at me like, uh, you don't even have any idea what it takes to, to build a dragster. And he said, well, okay, I guess we're going to start talking about making a dragster. Okay, well, remember now, I said it was 1990. This dragster didn't come to be until 2004. So we're talking about a 14-year spread. And the bottom line is you got to stay with it if you want something. Some of the geeky details about this dragster in 1962, the original car, the one that won the Winter Nationals, I think it ran in the 860s, 8.6 seconds for a quarter mile. I think it ran something like 170 miles an hour, maybe, maybe a little more. This car in comparison, it runs about the same mile an hour, but it's got a little bit better ET. It, it runs about a second faster than that. They run on gasoline in those days. I, I run on alcohol. So it's a small block Chevy, and it, it's a very typical drivetrain. Small block Chevy Powerglide and a nine inch Ford rear end. Right now the car runs a 780s, and the best mile an hour it's run is 186. But besides that, I mean, get in and go. To me, I would have to say, a true craftsman is a detail-oriented person. I don't care what you're doing, but if you're calling that your craft, you better believe in it. That's what it takes. Is with dedication. Lots of people are craftsmen making things and doing that, but a true 100% craftsman is, is a person that, that lives it and eats it and sleeps it. A wiser man than myself told me that the minute you quit working is the minute you die. So I'm going to be doing something until I can. I mean, that's it.